we know that karate is a feature file based framework let's think of some scenarios when we hit an api you might get different status codes if you get successful status code then you need to perform different steps but if you get some error codes then you might have some different validation steps like you need to verify the error message based on whatever input you pass if you are writing these codes in a programming language then you can think of if else or switch statement to handle these kind of scenarios but karate is a feature file based framework so how can we handle these kind of scenarios in karate i am amod and welcome to my youtube channel retarget common So in karate framework we have ternary operator and if condition to handle conditional logic so let me cover basics of it you might be knowing that ternary operator is a short form of if else logic so suppose if i have a variable status and it is 200 and based on some status code i want to print whether my test case is passed or failed so i can use a ternary operator here because we don't have if else explicitly in karate framework so we need to write the condition first what we expecting like i am expecting status should be 200 double equal because this is a condition if it is true then i am going to return success if it is false then use colon and return failed so this is if condition if the condition is satisfied then what we need to do or if the condition is not satisfied then this is else part how you will write in if else like if then this condition will go inside if block then if it is successful then we are going to do return success else return failed so all these lines we have written in tertiary operator and whatever it is returns we need to store into a variable like def final value and you can print the value let me run this scenario so here you can see it printing success because we have the status code as 200 if i change to 201 then obviously it should print failed let me run and show you so here you can see it is printing failed we can pass multiple conditions as well using the and operator or or operator let me duplicate this scenario and here i am going to have another variable called flag and i am putting as true so here i want to put two conditions like status should be 200 and flag value should be true then only return me success otherwise failed and since both the conditions are combined using and so both condition needs to be true so let me change the status to 200 and run this scenario so here you can see it repeating success because both the condition are satisfied if i change status to 200 one then it will give me failed instead of and we can use or operators as well so if any of this condition is true it will give me success let me run and show you so here you can see it is printing success we can also use tertiary operator as a nested if else so let me show you with an example i will duplicate this scenario so i am going to put a condition on the status first if it is 200 then i want to check for another condition if the flag value is true then return me success flag otherwise it will return failed flag so now highlighted one is like if else normal if else but we have a outer if condition so if the status is 200 then this condition will be evaluated and it will return the value so this will be only when status is 200 but if the status is not 200 then it will return outer else which will be failed so let me run this scenario so we have the status 200 and flag also true so here we are getting success flag let me change flag from true to false and we run the scenario So now we are getting failed flag along with the tertiary operator we have a if block in karate feature files only if block we don't have else part let me duplicate the first scenario and instead of using the tertiary operator i'm going to use if condition so use the if and here put the condition like a status equal to equal to 200 then i want to return success don't use the any return statement here if this condition is satisfied it is going to give you success and we don't have else part so let me run this scenario and here you can see it printing null because we have status as 201 so if is not satisfied so it is returning me null if i change to 200 that will give me success so here you can see it is printing success so here we don't have explicit else part but we can handle in some different way we know that 
if the if condition is not satisfied then it will give me null so here i can have a another condition like if final value equal equal null then return field and i am going to store into a variable and let me print and here i will change the status to 201 so that it will go into another if condition let me run this scenario so first time it is printing null but second time it is printing fail we can do a lot of things with these condition logics the major example will be calling a feature file based on your status code or some conditions just for an example if you get the status code as 200 then you want to call steps to verify success messages. So let me show you that. I will duplicate the first scenario. In my project, I have some feature files. What I want to do, if the status is 200, I want to call callable1.feature. But if the status is not 200, then I want to call callable2.feature. So here, instead of returning some hardcoded values, I am going to use karate.call. And here you need to pass the feature file which you want to call. So callable one dot feature. And in else part, you can again call some different feature file or you can return fail. Whatever you want to do, you can do. I will change the status to 200 and run the scenario. Since the status is 200, so obviously it is going to call callable one dot feature. And in this feature file, I am generating some authentication token. So here you can see that API call is made and in my print statement, final value, it is going to print me all those things, whatever callable feature is returning. And the same thing we can do with the if condition as well. Let me duplicate this scenario again. This should be 5 and this should be 6. And here we can use if condition, if a status equal to 200, then call this callable1.feature file. And whatever data it will generate, it will return and stored in final value. Let me run this scenario. So you can see token generation API is called and after execution it is printing the details. So these are two ways to write some conditional logics in Karate framework. If the conditional logic is complex then use the external Java or JavaScript methods. So that's all in this video. If you have any doubt please comment on this video. If you really like my videos please like, comment, subscribe and share with others. Thank you everyone.